The kidneys not only filter the blood, but have multiple important functions in the body. For children, a problem with the kidneys could be life-threatening. Dr. Dorit Benezer, a nephrologist at Children's Hospital of Orange County, describes the types of kidney defects and what interventions are available to treat these conditions. Kidney abnormalities are uh, structural abnormalities of the kidneys. Uh, kidneys that have not developed normally. And th those can be diagnosed in the newborn period, prenatally or in childhood. What are some of the problems that can affect the kidney? There are many types of kidney uh, abnormalities, developmental uh, problems of the kidneys. Uh, the main ones are types of obstruction to urine flow and other types are cystic kidneys. Kidneys that have cysts in them have not developed normally and sometimes don't function normally. Kidney abnormalities uh, can cause the kidneys to function less than normal or not at all and that can have serious consequences to the future of a newborn or a child. The patients with kidney abnormalities uh, can present asymptomatically and be diagnosed prenatally. Most women nowadays that are pregnant get ultrasound during pregnancy and many abnormalities are picked at that time by ultrasound of the baby before the baby is born. However, some abnormalities are not picked up at that time and um, some abnormalities manifest a little bit later and those are the ones that can be diagnosed when a patient has symptoms. The most common symptoms would be uh, urine infections. Uh, less common symptoms would be a decrease in kidney function which takes years to occur and then the patient may not grow very well, the patient may have swelling, the patient may have high blood pressure or blood or protein in the urine. Some kidney abnormalities run in families, mainly the cystic kidney diseases. There is a group of polycystic kidney diseases, they run in families. Uh, some type of obstruction and um, reflux of urine going backwards from the bladder to the kidneys runs in families. If one child in the family has that, there's about 50% chance that a sibling would have that. Dr. Benezer describes the treatment options. The treatment options for kidney abnormalities depend on each abnormality. Some of the abnormalities that are obstructive in nature, obstruction to the urine flow between the kidney and the tube that brings the urine to the bladder or between that tube and the bladder, uh, those are, uh, it's possible to repair with surgical procedures. Abnormalities that are cystic abnormalities have no way to repair them. And all children with kidney abnormalities, depending on the degree of the abnormality, and if it is one-sided or two-sided, uh, may have some deterioration of kidney function, and that cannot be um, treated or prevented. Structural abnormalities of the kidneys can be repaired and the success is close to 100% with uh, surgical procedures. We asked Dr. Benezer about the future treatments for these problems. I believe that in the next 20 to 30 years there will be better solutions than the current dialysis machines that we have and the current uh, kidney transplants that we have. It may be possible to create a kidney in the laboratory and provide the patient with it.